Hello everybody and welcome to another launch of a textures collection. Now it's been a few months since I've launched anything. The last one was the uh, geometrics collection. We're going festive because of course in the crafting world we have Christmas around June and July. Particularly at Craft Stash it's uh, in July. So Christmas in July at the moment. So we are launching lots of Christmas ranges. This is my textures one. It's called Nordic Christmas. I'm really excited about this one actually. There's some beautiful elements in here that I've wanted to try out for a long time but of course I had to wait for the festive period to come along. So um, I think this is going to be the most popular actually. We'll see if I'm correct but this 3D tree here uh, doesn't have to be made into 3D. It can also go onto your cards as well. Um, this one's really good fun and really easy to put together and it was inspired by the three-dimensional star that came with the fixtures and fittings collection uh, that completely sold out within hours if not a day or two. So uh, that's been inspired by that. So hopefully you'll love it just as much. So would you like to come down and see everything that's in the new collection? Now, I am going to link everything below. So you're going to be able to find whereabouts on Craft Stash to purchase this all. It will all be available from Friday the um, 15th of July. If you use the link below, that will take you directly to everything that we've got. And if there's any offers or anything, they will be showing there too. If you do want to hear about the offers, the first place you're going to hear about those is by joining me live at 12.30 on the Craft Stash uh, Facebook page or Craft Stash YouTube channel. Either one of those will take you um, to uh, an event. You can sign up, you can um, register your interest, you can join me at 12.30 and I'll run you through everything and I'll also be doing live demonstrations. I'm not going to be demoing now, I'm just going to be showing you the products so you know what's coming up. Now the first item uh, that I think really holds everything together and my favourite of the entire collection has got to be the background panel. So these are the Nordic panels. There's three dies in here. They are really good size. So these are five by seven and they are a layering die. So as you can see, you've got two panels there. This one has got an immense amount of detail in it. It cuts beautifully as well, that gorgeous Nordic design. And then this one cuts out another panel, which you can use totally separately if you want a slightly more solid design, uh, but it also layers underneath absolutely beautifully. And then included in the die set, you do have the outline die. So if you want to pop a mat, a slightly larger uh, mat underneath, you can do that. So a nice block of color and it cuts it out the perfect size for you. So these are the Nordic panels. I'll just show you a few a few cards that I've created. You may have seen these on my social media already, um, but these have been created. So this is one using both layers. So the top layer is white. The bottom one is a blended blue going from distress oxide, speckled egg, salty ocean, uh, uncharted mariner underneath there and then back onto a white background. But you can see the amount of detail and dimension. And I've just glued these down flat as well. I haven't even had to layer them up with foam pads or anything. This one here is just white going onto the solid panel. So I haven't got both layers here. Uh, and that's again, just rainbow blending some distress inks or distress oxides and popping the white panel over the top. So you can see how quick it is to build these backgrounds up. And then this one is a wood grain uh, top layer. The black is the second layer, the middle layer, the one that's got a little bit less detail. So you can see how the detail fits in some areas. So the hearts, and then it makes, uh, say like these chevron elements here, uh, a two-tone. And then we've got the white underneath, of course, makes a really fun background. Again, I've just glued these on completely flat. I haven't used any foam or anything. The dimension just comes naturally. So if you're looking for uh, dimensional looking cards, that uh, don't cost a fortune to post because as you can see, that's flat. This is the die, the background die to go to. Of course, you can also trim this to be horizontal and much smaller if you want to. You can use this either way. So that's my favorite part of the entire collection. Then we've got probably my next favorite is the 3D tree. And like I say, I know many of you have already been going crazy for this on social media, asking me where it's available. That makes 
this tree here it comes together so so quickly on the craft stash page where this is available you will see a video if it's not there already it'll be there very soon showing you how to put the tree together so the tree is originally created uh, so that it will go flat back onto a project it's quite it's quite deep so you're going to need a shadow box or uh, a large box to post this in however you're going to be gifting it but for 3d items that are like for home decor this is absolutely perfect so we've got the tree there as a solid but then uh, i've also got another way of using it so just cutting some of the panels and using just two of the layers you can create a slightly smaller tree that's a little more quirky if i put the two together you can see the difference it's slimmer it's not quite as deep either either and yeah it's kind of overlapping the branches as such there but it's a lovely quirky um almost uh what's the word abstract tree um and for this one you've noticed we've got panels cut out now that optional so you've got the nordic design panels there so almost like a fair isle knit type panel which i've done into every panel in here it takes no time at all you get the large the medium and the small but you've also got included snowflakes as well so you can cut in the snowflake design in the large the medium and the small panels you can do them in all the panels as i have here you can do them in none of them as i have here or you can pick out random ones so you're going to need your a4 die cutting machine for that then we've got a stamp set. Now this stamp and die set, there's two stamps, two dies, a uh, really good size. So this is a whole A5 sheet. Let me just see if I can take these out. So there we go. So you've got the beautiful stags. These took so long for me to put together to design. Uh, obviously I design everything by hand, so you're not going to get uh, replications anywhere else in the craft industry. These are completely unique um, and kudos to the amazing graphic designers at Craft Stash as well who take who help me to take my visions and basically produce them, make them into craft items for you to use. Um, so this is the stag head and of course we've got the full stag there as well. Both of them have gorgeous snowflakes and flurries coming away from them. So you've got negative and positives of those with words such as glisten, frosty, sparkle, flurry and snow inside them uh, and the word winter there too. This is how they can be used. So when you layer up the, the stamps with the outline dies that are included, let me just see if they will come out. There we go, so there's one of them. I've got lots of pieces in here. So there's one of them. See, a nice solid shape, so you can use this on its own. I'll show you examples of that again in a moment. So you've got that, and then you've got the smaller stag as well, the full-on stag. So you can cut into your stamped design and just raise up that solid image with foam pads as I have here to reveal the colour underneath. So that's one way of using it. A really quick card, that one actually. Um, you could also, let's see what else have we got. So I've just used the silhouette there on its own. Uh, that's into an embossing folder. I'll come to those in a moment. So just using that silhouette. And then we've got the same here, just using the silhouette. You can see you've got a little bit of the detail into the stamping there too on a card there. Um, and then here I've used the full stag um, I've stamped it in silver. I've cut out the silver stag. I've then re-stamped this image onto white cardstock with a brown ink and layered that behind so that the image actually easily flows. So for example, the word snow there flows into one. The word flurry flows from white into silver. Uh, but you've got all that two-tone. Well, actually there's four colors there. You've got the blue, the silver, the white, and the brown all mixing into one one another for a really fun stamped effect, layered stamped effect. So that is the stamp and die set. So they're my three favorite favorites, but then these ones are going to take you through every single Christmas, they really are. So we've got two embossing folders here, A5, so you can do large projects. You've got the Nordic panel here, so you can see it really full on, lots of detail panel there, which is what I actually used on this stag here, as you can see in the background. Um, I've got elements here, I've got little offcuts I can show you because some of the projects I did was uh, for magazines, so I can't show you those yet, uh, but these came from those. So you can see that embossing folder when you sand it back, when you ink the paper afterwards, it makes beautiful effects. And then we've got the uh, berries and pine. This is just a border. This allows you to put whatever you want here. If you want to stamp the stag over here as well, you can do that. But, well, similar to what I've done here, really. Um, but you can see I've just picked out with some ink 
in there it looks really really pretty i think that's bundled sage that i've used onto a white cardstock i've just done a watercolor effect with the same ink over this side to even it up uh, but this folder can of course be used horizontally so that they're coming up or vertically so that that's all coming out to the side instead either way and then lastly we have the most generic of all because you can use these for all occasions and that's the tags the panels and the words so this is called the sentiments and tags uh, these are really good size actually let's just take out the largest tag for you so you can see look at that absolutely gorgeous now if i show you a couple where well, you can see them just here these are the tags that I've used these Christmas trees on so you can see the size of them. I've cut through corrugated card with that so the packaging type card, the dies easily cut through. Um, I've got the same, where is it here? So this is again corrugated card using the curved tag so it looks much smaller on the packaging but it's actually a really good size again. And then I've used these words so many times. So here's a good example of why I've used, I've repeated the words. So I've got the word Merry Christmas Festive and Wishes in both the brush stroke and in the what I call the uh, label letters, label alphabet too. So I've got them both, so you're duplicating. Now that's because I love to mix my words. So I've got festive wishes and festive wishes, the same, but different because I've you I've mixed which one is the brush stroke and which one is the labels. Of course, uh, you can just use the sort of the typed label there, or the printed label if you want to, or you can just use the brush script. And there's another example of where I've mixed the two of them together. And again, lots of different options. So again, I'm going to demo all of this at 12.30 on the Craft Stash channels. Please do join me there. Um, I can't wait to show you everything in more detail but if you want to jump ahead uh, you can use the link in this post and you can go ahead and purchase these ready and then just sit back and watch the live so i can't wait to see you then at 12 30. take care everybody bye bye